everybody. It is Wednesday, July the 14th, about five minutes to 10 a.m. here in Texas, a little windy. And I'm a little shaggy. I need a shave and a haircut, pretty bad. Anyways, uh, so good morning, everybody. Uh, we are headed towards Vegas now with uh, our load. We uh, Last night, we made a really good time. We um, going through Amarillo last night. We stopped at the big steakhouse, the, the big one. I threw some pictures up on the on the page uh, with the big old chair that we sat in. Uh, anyhow, so we got to stop and, and have dinner last night, which was nice. Um, and we still made it two hours early into our, our, uh, our customer to drop uh, 2 a.m., which is really good. Uh, we were also picking up the same customer and heading to Vegas now with this load. Um, we got really lucky because the load was ready two hours early. So, uh, we were early, they were early, perfect. Um, and so it went off really good without a hitch. Uh, we really enjoyed this customer. This customer is uh, one of the probably the easiest to deal with. Uh, you come in, you go in, you tell them where you're going, they hand you a packet of paper, tell you where to pick up, and you go. Uh, it's not a whole lot of fuss muss. Uh, however, this is a hot load, so it's one of those loads where you have to be on time, and uh, it's a it's a go go go. Um, so, and uh, we are on this one, uh, running to Vegas. Um, and I was a little really concerned that we were not going to have enough time, but we're going to have plenty of time. By the time we get to Vegas, we're probably going to have, Alex might have like five hours, I might have ten hours. Um, and then we're going to be doing our reset because we will not gain any hours for two days. Um, so, it works out well. <laughs> so, we went ahead and got uh, set out for Thursday, let me see, the 16th, what day is the 16th, um, yeah, so Friday at 7 p.m. is when uh, we have set up for our start time, now I will adjust that once we get in and we drop our load uh, to know exactly when our 34-hour reset will uh, complete, but I put it out, um, so this load is at 7 a.m. Uh, in the morning tomorrow um, and so I just put it out for 34 hours from that time just to make sure if we happen to run into any construction or um, any closures from accidents, uh, fires, anything like that, that we have uh, enough time to, um, to get in and we're not getting loads before our reset's complete. So, um, and then once we get in and we drop the load, then I will adjust our time. Because usually what happens is one of us will, had already been um, off, so it's not gonna take a full 34 hours for that person's reset. It might just be like 24 or 28 hours um, before the reset, so we can actually pick up sooner than that, because that person to reset will finish and they can start off and then while the other person is in the bunk and the sleeping berth their reset is happening on the road so um, that's anyhow that's how that works I think I've explained it quite often um, but that's what's going on um, and uh, we already have a, a move order so once our reset is done we will move to uh, Harupa Valley in Southern California uh, where we will probably pick up one of our normal um, cross-country loads uh, that will take us probably to Florida, South Carolina. Um, sometimes it goes to Jersey, it just depends. Uh, but anyhow, it's our, our west to east loads. Um, and we'll just keep kicking that off, keep uh, just going and going. Now we did uh, we need to cancel our, our home time that we were supposed to be taking. St. Joe uh, next week um, but you know that's okay um, we had a lot of downtime and it kind of set us back from our goal it didn't set us back financially where we're in trouble by any means but it did set us back on our goal that we were on that two-year plan so we need to kick 
up to, um, to get caught up on that. So this uh, running right now is, is helping us to achieve that. So if anybody knows me, I'm a very goal-oriented person. I put a goal in and that's what I do is uh, try to keep my eye on the prize and, and get that goal worked out. So anyways, um, so that's kind of where we are right now. Um, I kind of was having a thought and I know I didn't post yesterday. Uh, number one is just because uh, the areas that we were going through, really, really poor reception. I'm gonna say this again. T-Mobile has the biggest 5G network in the nation, okay? But they are shit for connectivity and speed. Um, just because I have a 5G full signal um, on my phone doesn't mean I have internet, which is really disappointing. And as a trucker, that is an important part of my job is to be able to... Um, to be able to use that for communication. Uh, yes, I have it in the truck, but the truck uses AT&T, and sometimes AT&T, I can tell you right now, AT&T is much better than, than uh, T-Mobile um, when it comes to the connectivity, because there's times when the truck has uh, internet, and I should have internet, and I don't. And I'll get a message on the truck, but I will not get it on my phone. Um, so, at some point very soon, I will, because I already paid off. Um, so in order to get T-Mobile's deal, we had to finance the phones. I paid off mine and Alex's phone, except for $100 for each of us, which would allow us to get on this special, like buy one, get one free. Uh, yes, I'm gonna lose out on that, but you know what? I don't give two craps because I'm going back to Verizon. Um, with Verizon, we had very little problem. Yes, Verizon was more expensive, but at the end of the day, I'd rather pay more to make sure that I had it the service that I need um, than paying less and not having a service when I need it. Because it's not doing me a damn bit of good when um, I can't even, and I, I got the extra hotspot so that when we stopped, we could use it for streaming. Uh, for connecting to my computer and you, you know what I've barely even used this freaking hotspot because it's a piece of crap it gets a connection but there's no freaking internet or it's so damn slow you can't even stream lowest quality of Netflix it's ridiculous um, so T-Mobile uh, and the other thing that really scares me about T-Mobile is T-Mobile I just heard on the news is going to be the primary provider for this new driverless remote car service that's going to be happening in Vegas. Me and Alex just bust up laughing. That's scary. That's scary right there because, yeah, they they will have connectivity, but uh, good luck. You might be able to get that right turn 10 minutes after you missed it because uh, the speed on T-Mobile is horrendous, especially outside of the biggest cities. In Phoenix, there's areas in Phoenix where I have no service on T-Mobile. It's ridiculous. And that's being outside, not in a building. I understand that sometimes in a building, you're blocked because of the structure, but this is outside. And it's ridiculous. In fact, I can tell you exactly one spot that I always, always ran at T-Mobile before, and I still, when we were just in Phoenix a couple weeks ago, there's a Costco on Elliott and Priest. And you sit in the parking lot between Costco, either uh, in front of Costco or in front of the dump, um, the dump being the furniture store, you cannot get um, T-Mobile service. Um, there's that that parking lot right there. It's a piece of crap. I used to live at the apartments behind the Walmart, which is right across the street from that. And I had okay service over there, uh, but once you crossed over Elliott into this Costco, when I used to do Uber and Lyft and needed, needed my phone for to, to get my my rides, I always, always, always had trouble coming out of there getting fuel, getting gas, um, and being able to accept a ride. I'll be hitting the thing saying accept, accept, and, and it's just spinning because there's no connectivity. Um, and it's still that way because we were 
over there. Um, they got fuel for the van, got gas for the van. And um, I had no service. So T-Mobile, sucking. Because y'all can boast all you want about having the largest 5G network. But when it comes to your speeds and the reliability of your internet, you're a piece of shit. Point blank. Um, in fact, there's there's times um, there's a going down the 80 through Wyoming. T-Mobile has hardly any service there. Um, but then you can open up the settings on the phone and look at other networks that are available. Uh, networks that I are very strong going through there: AT&T and Verizon. Um, T-Mobile, you can't connect for shit. Uh, and sometimes it's only phone service. You don't even have internet service going through there. And it never fails. I always listen to my podcast or whatever going through there. Uh, I always get a text saying I, I have um, depleted my 200 megabytes of uh, roaming data going through the, the 80 going through Wyoming. And therefore, I don't have any internet service. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I, I tried to give T-Mobile another shot after they merged with Sprint, thinking, okay, it's going to be a stronger, better network because now they have Sprint towers along with T-Mobile towers. Then I was told by a T-Mobile person, no, you don't get to use the Sprint towers. Even though you can't get service with Sprint anymore. If you want to try to go to a Sprint store or like a Walmart and try to get a plane with Sprint, you can't. Um, they're phasing all those out. Well, if that's the case, why am I not able to use the Sprint towers when I'm going through? I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me, but um, it was the biggest mistake I have made in years by switching away from, um, from Verizon. Verizon, very few times did we have interruption in our service. Even when we had one bar um, of uh, connection, we still had really good internet. I can have five full bars of internet with, with T-Mobile and my applications will error, check your internet connection, blah, 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 blah. Uh, ping levels out the roof trying to do a speed test, one or two megabits per second, um, it's terrible. But then some places we get into and it's super good. Um, where were we? We were somewhere on the east coast in a city I ran a speed test and uh, it was like 120 meg or 120 gigabits per second or something. It was something outrageous, like super fast. Okay, so if you're in a big city where they have that kind of a connection, they're probably okay. But for a trucker driving through all these states, terrible, terrible. So what I'm paying for three phones, um, my sister's actually financing her phone completely. Uh, so what's gonna have to happen is I'm gonna have to pay that phone off because she's gonna have to pay me. Um, but financing her phone is $37 a month. Um, Alex and I, I think it's like $5 a month because we, like I said, we kept, uh, we paid everything out except for a hundred dollars of each phone. So we could go on this special, um, three lines of supposedly their max magenta max service. Um, and a hotspot financing the, uh, the hardware plus the hotspot, which I was told it was a hundred gigs month and then when I got my first bill it's only 50 gigs a month so I was a little upset that that was not correct when I was told in the store um, and not received um, which I couldn't get that anyhow if I tried because the connectivity is so shit um, I'm getting all that for $250 a month when we were with Verizon Alex and I we were, of course, financing our phones, which were, I think, $40, $45 a month. Oh, and also, we get the insurance, so it's like $18 a month for each phone for the insurance. But um, we had Alex and I's phones, the insurance on it, um, and we were paying $250 a month. And then we were paying $150 a month through Nomad Internet for our hotspot which was unlimited and it was actually using, um, I think it was using AT&T, which we, for the most part, had a really good service. The reason why um, we stopped is because you 
looking at that, that was $400 a month. Two, three, yeah, $400 a month that we were paying for two phones and a hotspot. But we had very, very little trouble with it. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go back to Verizon. Um, because I, I'm not about having all these issues. Anyways, so there's my vent on um, phone service and we're hitting some construction coming to us down here. Um, so anyhow, that's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, if you're in a big city, T-Mobile is probably fine for you, except like I said, um, with being in Phoenix, there's areas where T-Mobile is non-existent uh, or really crappy. Um, then there's certain cities like I've seen um, YouTube videos where in New York City, they're like super fast speeds. Um, so whatever. Some areas they have really good connection. But as a traveler, a person that's traveling, and I understand there's going to be areas for every carrier that is just doesn't have service, especially going through mountains and going through valleys. That's expected. But when I'm in a big city or in a really open range area and it shows that I have I should have really good internet and I have three to five bars and no connectivity that's a problem for me so anyways uh, but that's it so there's your update for today uh, I think I was starting to talk about um, I was thinking about um, stopping these updates or maybe at least reducing them to maybe once a week um, because uh, number one um, I don't really have the followers or the people that really watch this um, I number two like I said I've applied for another position that would take me out of the truck and once I leave the truck I won't be doing these updates so I've kind of been thinking about maybe drawing back a little bit uh, I might use my um, I might use it for other things um, I don't know we'll see um, Alex isn't one to do this so he wouldn't be a person that would continue to to uh, do this um, so I don't know we'll see I'll let you guys know for those that watch um, I do do this live on Facebook and then uh, I upload it, I, I save the video from Facebook and then I upload it to my YouTube channel uh, because I do have one dear friend, Alberta, who I love so much. Uh, it's my sister from another mister. Um, she doesn't use Facebook and she does keep tabs on us and she does watch us. So, you know, I wanna make sure that I, I have a place, at least for now, where um, I can upload that. And plus it's a way for me to keep these as a reference if I ever wanted to go back uh, and like hey what was that that I did or something I don't know but anyhow so I do upload it to to um, my YouTube um, I did reserve uh, a domain O'NeillTrucking.com that I haven't done anything with yet but I had planned on doing something because not that we are making a trucking company but Alex and I as a as a trucking team uh, I was going to put there for like videos and um, you never know. You never know where we could end up. We could end up getting our own fleet at some point and reserving that name um, now uh, could be really good for us. So um, what's going on? Are they pushing everybody off this road? I think so.
it kicked in. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna let you go. Uh, that's about it. Just wanted to throw that information out there for you. Um, hope everybody has a really good day. Uh, if I don't do another update tomorrow, um, I will do another update when we get back from our reset. Um, but you never know. I might I might do a quick one while we're in Vegas because uh, we are planning on, since we're going to be in Vegas for the 34, um, I think we are going to actually go to the Strip. Uh, we did see uh, uh, a Swift truck parked in the, the back lot. Um, seen some trucks parked in the back lot of the Excalibur. So we might go ahead and um, go to the Excalibur so we can get a room. Uh, that'll put us on the strip for our 24 hours there while our 34 hour reset. And um, that way we have access to food and some entertainment um, to relax and whatnot. Get out of the truck for a day uh, and not have to worry about where we're parking because uh, it's, it's pretty good parking there. And um, so that's that's kind of the plan. So I don't know. I might do a might do a live when we're out on this trip or something. So, all right, guys, love you. Take care. Please be safe. Uh, corona is on the rise again. Uh, if you're not vaccinated, please wear that mask because this this new variant is nasty. Um, 